Nicole Lee, and I'm here to talk about um, some news that affects everybody that eats uh, wheat products, um, all kinds of organic foods. They have been testing them lately, and scientists have found in several studies they've found glyphosate contamination. Do you know what that is? Glyphosate is an herbicide and it's very toxic to the human system. Um, the reason we, pe people like myself like to get GMO products and, I mean non-GMO, but organic products is to avoid being contaminated by herbicides and pesticides, Roundup and weed killers. Well, glyphosate's another weed killer, that's what it is. And a lot of people had no awareness that there was any contamination in these wheat products. But they were found to be saturated with it, with this uh, toxic chemical, even before the uh, harvesting. So I, I wanted you to be aware of that. Uh, um, the chemical is very strong, very potent to plant life. And farmers use it sometimes to accelerate the, the death of wheat crops then they're commercially farmed and reducing the delay between cutting the crops and delivering them to the, the market. So they're sold, sold in grocery stores, the commercial loaves, and that includes all kinds of things like pastries and cakes and donuts, pasta, spaghetti, noodles. Uh, they're all made from wheat. Hamburger and hot dog buns are made from wheat. Cereals, a lot of them were made from wheat. Um, biscuits, scones, flatbreads, they're all made from wheat. And they're unfortunately heavily contaminated with glyphosate in many cases. So even though the term certified organic wheat product may be on the label, you don't know what you're getting. That sucks. I didn't want to hear this news, but I am aware of it. I'm letting you know that we probably need to reach out to the departments in government that handle this, like FDA and anyone that's on the staff of the government that has anything to do with um, health and safety, in particular food safety, needs to take action and start getting better standards for what is acceptable in the pesticide residues and eliminate them completely if if at all possible. So a lot of these wheat crops are sprayed and sprayed and sprayed with toxic glyphosate before the harvest. And when, when we eat them, we don't know how much we're getting, if it's just trace amounts or what, but I was just taken away by this. I don't want to be swallowing weed killer, and I bet you don't either. It's, it can cause all kinds of diseases like cancer, ALS, amylotropic lateral sclerosis, multiple sclerosis. I think it affects all oh, kinds of illnesses tremendously. And, you know, just think of what it's doing to your genetic compound in your system and all your cells and how it can be changing them, hurting them, and morphing them into what is not natural. So follow this up yourself and see, I'm telling you right now that we have a problem when it comes to taking care of our bodies and trying to eat what we thought was organic may not be. So. If you can do something, take action. You know, let them know. It's, we don't want this sinister glyphosate in our bodies whatsoever. We don't want it. It's extremely toxic to humans. We grow a lot of stuff here in California that, you know, and even in the drinking water, they've found glyphosate. They found that it caused breast cancer in women, toxic shock syndrome, goes on and on. Um, if you have never heard of Mike Adams, the health ranger, check him out. 
He keeps up with the latest of whatever is contaminated in the in our foods, and he, you know, he knows all about toxic metals that are accumulated and how to chelate them or eradicate them from your body. Um, I've talked about using activated charcoal. I've talked about lemons. I've, a lot of things that there's a lot of things you can do to reduce the toxicity and eliminate some of those heavy metals that accumulate. And it's not just a couple of heavy metals. I'm talking about a lot of different things, like besides aluminum, besides mercury. Uh, there's there's arsenic. There's all kinds of things to decontaminate ourselves from. Stay away from the fried foods if you can. The acrylamide that they find in fried foods, uh, especially at McDonald's and places like that, have horrible effects on our human body. And people are giving them to their children. They're giving them poison. McDonald's doesn't want to hear this. They better know about it, though. Even their own employees are eating the food that they give them. I won't eat it, and I hope you won't either. That's the, it, my wisdom for you for today. Have a good one. Nicole Lee with Health, Beauty, and More. See you later, but be sure to subscribe.